Okay, first up, Beanie Fisher. Questions for Beanie? So, Beanie, uh, your reaction, you start seeing the All-American honors pop up for you, all the others. What, what, what's your reaction? What's your emotion? Um, I mean, it's a, it's a big accomplishment, you know. Um, it's 130-something teams. Um, each team has, like, 100 players. And, you know, I don't know how big the, the, the All-American uh, rosters are, but um, just to be on those uh, teams – you know, it's just like the elite of the elite guys, um, <clears throat> and I and I think it. Uh, you know, it's a it, it's a big accomplishment not only for me but you know, the school. You know, uh, just other guys. You know, being able to see that 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 you can do it, um, and you don't you know you don't have to do it uh, by being on social media and, and you know doing all of those things. You don't have to be a social media guy. You can you know just put your head down and work. Um, and, you know, and, and everybody's path is different. You know, uh, six-year, um, and there was a lot of six-year guys on there and, and whatnot, but um, started at a small school, you know, under-recruited, small kid. You know, a lot of coaches um, didn't really believe in me coming out of high school, you know, and um, and I just I just played with a chip on my shoulder. Um, and, you know, I've I just been uh, blessed by God, you know, and – and just keep my head down and working. So when you decided to transfer last year, what were your individual goals? Was something like this even on the radar at that point? Um, you know, I I, I kind of kept kept the things to myself, uh, like the individual accomplishment. You know, uh, I want to I want to win first. You know, winning. You know, when you win, all the other accolades and, and things like that will come in. Um, but I. I wanted to be in a, you know, in a, in Jim Thorpe category. Uh, wanted to be one of those finalists. Um, you know, things didn't work out that way because uh, I left. I left a lot of plays out there. You know, I, I think, you know, I catch at least half of the the ones that I drop. It, it wouldn't even be a. I'd probably be sitting here with y'all with the trophy. You know, <laughs> so, you know, just just things like that. There's only 13 consensus All Americans in the history of the school. 130 years however many thousands of players that have been through here, um, you would be the first one to come through the transfer portal to do that. And you didn't have years of momentum to promote you. You basically did it in one year. What's that say for what you've done this year? Uh, you know, it just it just speaks volume. Um, everyone here believed in me, uh, you know, unless I, I would, I would, or I wouldn't be here, you know. Uh, Coach Adon, he, he, you know, he coached me real hard, you know, didn't, didn't let me get complacent. You know, it, even when you know I got the big, uh, the Big Twelve newcomer, co-newcomer of the week, and defensive player of the week, and those things, and it was always like fourth and one. You know, um, don't let up, cause I, I'm nowhere near where I want to be at. Um, you know, obviously, I have dreams and aspirations of playing in the NFL. Uh, so this is only, this is only some of it. Um, you know, it's, it's just, it's, I'm just gonna keep getting better from here and. Uh, keep my head down and working. What does it mean to you to accept the invite to the Shrine Bowl, a annual pretty major event? And generally when you go to one of those, that or the Senior Bowl, you're getting legitimate looks at the NFL, obviously. Uh, I, I think it's a big deal. Uh, you know, we had a few guys from here uh, from here go last year. And, you know, our, um, what Dante, you know, he's doing a well, – Dante Darius, whichever one it is, uh, yeah. Dante, uh, you know he's he's um, he's doing he's successful in the NFL. You know he's he's doing a good job and things like that. So, you know, um, and it's a, it's it's a lot of guys that uh, doesn't get the opportunity. And you know, just to be able to be one of those guys that has the opportunity to you know talk to scouts and and get looked at, it it only increases my chances to get drafted. Be, uh, what was it like having? player that came out this year inside you all that time and, and not really being able to tap into it yet. Can you, can you repeat the question? Yeah, sure. Uh, what was it like having the player that you became this year inside you for, you know, for five years and not, not having it all come out, be able to come out? Was it frustrating or was it, uh, um, you know, it's, it's just one of those things, uh, that I look at as, you know, everybody's path is different. You know, I have a, a few friends that's in the NFL, you know, some guys went in three years, some guys went in four. You know, mine is just t taking me a little longer. 
Um, you know, I don't really try to compare myself to, to other guys and, and things like that. So just being able to, to be able to be myself and, you know, let my game speak, it, it shows volumes, uh, volumes, you know, that – that this is this is just what I, I could have been doing, uh, but granted, I just didn't have the opportunity. It's an amazing how much a difference a year can make. This time last year, you're at your point where you're thinking, well, what am I going to do? Am I going to stay at Minnesota? Am I going to move on? Whatever. Ultimately, you made the decision, whatever it was in the springtime or whatnot. Mm -hmm. And then this time right now, you're you're a consensus All American. You're your uh, prospects are completely different than they were this time last year. Yeah, for sure. You know, um, and that and that just goes to show you, like, I wasn't really, you know, I wasn't – well, I came on a mission, you know. I told guys, um, you know, some guys leave schools to to get to get money, to do all of those different things, and, and I just set a goal that I want to go to the NFL, you know. I want to go somewhere where I'll have the opportunity to, to play and, you know, make plays and – this was this was the best spot for me, you know, and I'm glad that I, I chose West Virginia. Um, the fans, the coaches, and, and and things like that, it just, you know, it helped me a lot. It would be hard not to sit with any regret, wishing maybe you didn't transfer here instead of Minnesota a year and play two years here. Uh, yeah, yeah, a little bit, you know. Uh, at that point. Yeah, uh, you know, and I kind of give I kind of give Coach Nine Hill about it a little bit um, from the first time when I was in the portal. Uh, you know, I, I I talk to him a lot about it. Like, man, what if, you know, uh, what if, you know, but can't really dwell on the past too much. But that that, that would have been special. Tough of an assignment this this coming game, for the bowl game. How tough is this going to be? Obviously, their quarterback's out. One of the receivers is out. So what do you know of North Carolina's offense? How difficult is this going to be? Um, they have a, a freshman starting at quarterback, a uh, pretty, good, pretty good quarterback. You know, we watched him a little bit. He didn't really have uh, too many plays this year. Uh, so we kind of had to watch a little bit of his high school highlights. Uh, guy can run, you know, so they might change the game plan up a little bit, you know, to try to get him in rhythm, um, let him use his legs a little bit and things like that. And, you know, they have talented guys at receiver, um, pretty productive, productive room, um, tight ends as well. So, you know, it's it, – they have guys on scholarship too, you know, so, and been having like top recruiting classes uh, over the past few years. So it's going to, uh, it's going to be a, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be a good game. I assume you've been to bowl games before in all these years. So what's a bowl game like, especially when you're talking to the younger guys and saying, how's this different in a regular season game? You know, how, how enjoyable is this for players? Um, you know, you want to have fun, but the ultimate goal is to win the game. You know, uh, no one. Coach Coach says uh, the NCAA gives you the opportunity to, to win your last game. You know, you don't you don't have to go out with a loss. So tell those guys, you know, have fun when it's time to have fun. But at the end of the day, it's, it's really a business trip because you want to bring a trophy back, and we kind of want to see Coach uh, Brown get Deutsch and the mayonnaise. <laughs> And just, I guess, to clarify, just to get this out of the way, you're you're definitely looking to play in the bowl game. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, that's that's one of the things everybody everybody's asking me that. You know, I'm not a I'm not one of those guys that's, oh, what if what if this happens? What if, you know, we play football, so any given time, you know, you can get hurt or whatever that is or the case may be. But you know, I'm I'm a competitor, and you know, I want to be able to come back and. Look at the, the Duke's mayonnaise uh, bowl trophy, you know, whenever I come back, you know, whether that's in a couple months or a couple years or whatever that is. And, you know, I, I want to help us win the game. Any other stats this year for you? Um, I think you played like 95% of the snaps. Um, that's, that's, that's a crazy number. Um, do you ever foresee something like that? Never mind pass breakups, interceptions, but just never coming off the field. Um, no, but it was it was something that, you know, to get to the next level, I, I have to, you know, be on the field and be available. Um, and you can't, you know, you can't make plays if you're on the sideline, you know. So I didn't, I didn't really mind. Um, as long as I'm healthy, I want to play football, you know. So I wasn't really, I wasn't really uh, disappointed. I wasn't mad, you know. I was happy to to be out there. Um, Ninety five percent of the snaps is, is crazy, but you know, 
that's that's what I came here for, the opportunity to play, you know, because last year I wasn't I, – I don't know how many percent of the snaps that I played. So, you know, I was grateful. And then um, I think like two guys got targeted more than you, a cornerback this year. How does that happen? Like you were pretty good at this and guys kept taking their chances on you still for some reason. Um, You know, uh, and I was just talking to one of the guys too about this. Uh, planning the boundaries, shorter throws, um, and also – Offensive coordinators, they they like um, we like our guy over over that guy. So that that's where I feel like a lot of <laughs> that's where a lot of those targets come from. Um, majority of the receivers are bigger guys than I am, but you know it, it doesn't really it doesn't really matter. And just the co the coaches just believe in they, their guy. Right? You know, I go out there and, and show them that, that that's not a good decision. Beanie, what are you, what are you most proud of about this year? Uh, I'm I'm just proud of the team, you know, coming in uh, preseason, oh, 14, you know, 14, oh, we don't think they're going to win more than two or three games, and, you know, we easily could have been a 10-win team, you know, we dropped the Houston game, um, had mistakes in Oklahoma State, you know, that that's the difference from, you know, eight and eight and 10 wins, so it just, just seeing the guys, how, how we played together and complimented each other, especially towards the end of the season where, you know, defense and offense and special teams, you know, is all playing like as, as a cohesive unit. What was, what was the reaction at home uh, family-wise and when they heard that you were making All-American teams and stuff like that? Um, I, don't, I don't know if they understand um, like the difference between the things, you know. Uh, obviously, they're, they're proud of me with all the, the accolades and things that I get, um, you know, and they're more excited because they feel that, you know, I, I don't really get recognized as, as I should, but, you know, I, I don't really, I, I you know, I don't really care about that. I, I'm more focused on, on winning football games. People, people around town here reacting differently to you? Oh, yeah. Um, you know, I'm kind of getting a little uh, more noticed in stores and things like that. Uh, I had a kid come up and tell me I was his favorite player while I was shopping at Target. So, you know, <laughs> that was that was kind of new to me. <laughs> yeah, I, I you know I kind of like getting uh, white t-shirts and black t-shirts and things like that. Do a little grocery shopping.